on track for greener, cleaner rail. There's a new trial of trains with fast charging batteries. But before all that, let's return to the topic of transport with what's being hailed as groundbreaking. These trains using fast charging batteries are being trialled, the first of its kind, on the railways in West London. The aim is to make rail greener and to cut emissions. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards has been on board. At West Ealing, a trial of a fast charging battery train is being tested between here and Greenford. It means you don't have to build new power lines or have a diesel engine. I think this is groundbreaking. You know, we are testing technology here that will allow us to run branch lines, maybe short distance trains with an electric train without electrifying the, the railway throughout its length. So I think that's a really exciting opportunity for us. And, you know, there are routes like this Greenford branch in West London uh, through the Thames Valley. There's routes like this in Devon and Cornwall where we could roll this technology out and end up with a branch line with an electric train without having the huge expense of putting in uh, the electrification infrastructure that we've had to see elsewhere. The train charges in three and a half minutes at West Ealing. GWR hopes it could be used on branch lines. The one thing you notice about these battery-powered trains is they are a lot quieter than normal trains. These are actually converted district line carriages and passengers should be able to get on this one probably by the autumn. The western section out of Paddington has had problems though. In December passengers were stuck for hours and it's been affecting the Elizabeth Line and GWR services. Network Rail are now working to improve reliability for commuters. When will they start seeing the benefit, do you think? Uh, we're hoping that they'll start seeing some benefit in the next six months, absolutely. Um, then 12 to 18 months is when we hope to really see a step change in performance. But hopefully those using the trains today will see the green shoots appearing. And we are seeing very, very slight improvements and we hope to continue that. On the battery train, critics say the government should be investing more in power lines for railways. But there are high hopes for this new technology. The trial will last 12 months. Tom Edwards, BBC London. Now, powering up on Monday, official trials will begin of Britain's first battery-powered commuter train in West London. The converted district line train is able to recharge quickly between stations. Ahead of the first passengers later this month, Rags Martel was allowed on board. Travel by battery power, you probably take an e-bike or electric car. You might even take a battery-operated bus, but the last thing you'd expect is this thing. From a distance, this might look like an ordinary train, but it's something much more electrifying. Britain's first battery-powered commuter train. And ITV News was among a select group invited to take a test trip on it, boarding at Platform 5 West Ealing. And our destination, a cleaner, diesel-free future. Diesel engines produce emissions, they're producing carbon dioxide, and the diesel trains are less emitting than they were, but we'd like to move towards getting rid of them completely. And technology like we're testing today takes us a lot closer on that journey. And it's when the train is stationary that the charging gets to work. GWR say it's not fast charging, but really fast charging, more than eight times faster than a Tesla supercharger. It all happens under the train when it reaches a station that can give it a charge. How does this work? We're in a battery train right now, so it has no other power, no diesel, no overhead connections, nothing like that is driven purely from the batteries that are mounted on the train. And what happens is the train approaches the fast charge location, it drops these shoes down and then the rails go live. And it gets enough charge for a trip in just three and a half minutes. And as it's all battery powered, there's no need for overhead electric lines. Do you think this is the future of train travel? I think it's definitely part of the future. A, a route like this will really benefit from um, having the battery trains operating. Uh, the residents around the railway will notice that it's so much quieter and cleaner and the air quality is so much better and it will help us contribute towards that net zero ambition. This train only made a return trip to Greenford two miles away, but it was far enough to prove 
there's a battery-powered future on the tracks. Rags Martel, ITV News, Elin.